Good morning. I'm a new beekeeper here in Central Oregon and I'm looking for help, hopefully from you guys. Um, interest in bees has taken off around here so there aren't enough mentors to go around. So I figured why not uh, crowdsource it, see if you guys can help me out. Um, so it is September 26 and this is probably the last warm week we're going to have. Last week was really cold, so I designed a uh, styrofoam cover for the whole hive, which I'm actually planning to leave on all year long. However, I've got the issue of ventilation right now. So this is a flow hive. That's the front of the hive. Uh, the back where uh, a piece of the back comes off this side here also has an observation window it comes off I've discovered that in the high fluctuations of temperature here in the high desert where it can be very warm during the day and very cold at night the bees really haven't cared for all those cutouts they haven't touched the back of the hive or the far side of that hive uh, the flow frames that is the bottom brood box they filled up. So I figured they, they really don't like having all those gaps. So that's why I decided to insulate it permanently. And um, I left a little gap under at one point. I put a couple little sticks under the cover the outer cover and then in order to keep the bugs from getting in the inner cover, the big hole in the inner cover, I just glued a piece of mesh. Well, I came back but a few days later and found that the girls had just started to cover up that inner hole, the hole in the inner cover. So I figured that was too much ventilation for them. They didn't like that. So they were taking care of it that way. I took that off and I can't remember why but I, I, I stuck a whole new one on there, um, took the little sticks out, lowered the cover and just let them do whatever they wanted. Figured they could decide how much ventilation they wanted. Well, I will show you. They had completely filled in that hole and it's actually pretty thick. so. They still didn't like the ventilation, even after I took the little uh, slats out from the outer cover. But now that I'm putting insulation, I think I'm going to have to change that. What I plan to do is just take the mesh off again, put a brand new one on, and let them decide if they want to cover that all back up. And if that happens, I really don't know what's going to happen with the moisture or ventilation in the hive. I'm going to leave the front completely open except for um, mouse guard. I'm not gonna put any kind of a, I'm just gonna put mesh there as a mouse guard and leave the front open. And um, you guys think that's gonna be good enough? Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. You see those two little holes in the front? Of the styrofoam. I've inserted a couple thermometers in there and uh, when I first inserted the thermometers it read something like 78 and 83 inside the hive. The next, the next day the temperature inside the hives actually fell a few degrees and I figured they didn't like the, the prong. It's just a, just a regular meat thermometer. They didn't like the prong so they moved away from it and that cooled off the reading. Well since then the thermometer has been increasing and increasing. Today it is about 70 degrees Fahrenheit outside and both of these boxes are now reading 90 degrees Fahrenheit inside. So this week is going to be warm. I need to make sure that the paint 
on this styrofoam is completely dry before I put it back on. I don't want them to get any kind of toxic shock. So, that's my story and I'm sticking to it.